afternoon guys happy wednesday it is wednesday for me as well <laughs> once again sorting my wednesday's vlog on wednesday afternoon never a good thing never a good thing i stupidly managed to delete some of my footage for this vlog so i'm having to start again which is really frustrating just occasionally i have like a real clear out of all my photos and videos and then i don't realize that some of it is needed for another vlog so yeah never mind right i have a big favor to ask if anyone hasn't subscribed to my channel yet and would like to please do it. I'm currently, thanks to all of you guys, on 999 subscribers. <laughs> it's driving me insane. I just, someone please just tick it over to the 1000. I can't bear every time I'm like checked on there and it's still 999. I'm like, please, <laughs> just <laughs> so close, so close, but amazing. Thank you guys. Really, honestly, it's incredible. So nearly there. I can't believe it. Um, probably thanks to one of my YouTube shorts, which keeps to keep kind of flaring up and going around again. I never mentioned it on the like actual YouTube channel, but I brought a big, some big bales of hay and one morning came outside to find that there was a golf ball right outside Sienna's stable door. And I was like, that's weird. And I thought, is it the weirdo that lives next door to me? And there's a lad out there and he can be a bit of a pain in the bum sometimes, but he's never been a golfer. So I think I didn't think it's him. And anyway, I then thought about it and the farmer I got the hay from I know that his fields back onto a golf course and I just thought oh my god you know it's obviously a golf ball that's gone absolutely flying and ends up in the hay field and been bailed but the thought of what could have happened is utterly terrifying because obviously Sienna could have so easily choked on that and it would have been well you don't even want to think what it could have been because you know I'm not going to be able to have rescued a golf ball from you know her throat so terrifying so now i'm having to check every bit of hay that i put into hay nets or into mangers or on the floor um because i never ever ever want to see a golf ball in my hay ever again so uh, yeah so that youtube short i think has definitely helped gain me quite a few followers and so on but yeah i can't believe it 999 crazy crazy anyway today's vlog i've got such a good exercise one that i completely stole from sharon hunt though I think she put on it that she was having a lessons with like a biomechanics person and they suggested this exercise. But it is so good because you can do it whether you're long reining, whether you're doing it handwork, whether you're riding. And it's a simple layout. It's, I mean, it's incredibly simple layout. And there's lots of like mini exercises you can do within it. And also it works for horses that are really young or horses working at the level. Like you can really adjust this exercise to suit. So yeah, I'm going to show you it with Sienna because I long reined her over it. I don't think I'm going to get time to do a ridden version of it, which is really frustrating. But yeah, it's definitely one you're going to want to watch. First up though, I'm going to get mucked out because this morning I was like, oh, do you know what? I'll just go straight to work. I'll muck out when I get back. It's fine. Mm. Shouldn't have done it. Should not have done it. <laughs> Nothing worse than getting home and then having to muck out. Yes. Next time, get it up, get it done, and then go to work. I reckon this goes down for the most easy pole setup ever just a long line of poles the longer the better now to begin with you can see that i'm doing a very simple exercise of literally walking sienna back and forth over the poles a very shallow serpentine with her and in fact this is probably best done in walk but you could also do it in trot and the great thing about this exercise is you're working on their suppleness so you're getting them to bend constantly changing the rein while also lifting as they walk over the pole so this is going to be great for core strength great for suppleness great for that softness over the back getting them to start to lift through their back and it's one of those things it's so simple but yet so effective so you can see here you could do some of your kind of shallow serpentine quite tight or you could do really big loops it's completely up to you then the next exercise pretty simple one literally doing a figure of eight again something that's great for your horse's suppleness great for getting into the bend through their rib cage with the walk, I think it's important not to rush the horse, like to allow them to do it at their own pace, as long as they're not being too lazy, allowing them the time to pick their feet up cleanly over the poles, allowing them the time to bend through their body. But that change of bend quite consistently is really good for your horse's suppleness. Again, really helping with their core strength. And you can see here, Sienna's going quite sedately, but she's keeping to the same rhythm, the same balance, which is nice. And she is beginning to drop her head and neck down a little bit. Next up is just simply trotting over the poles. When you've got a long line like this, you can obviously choose to walk or trot over the poles wherever you fancy. So you can do huge circles that are like 20 meters. You can do 15, 10, you can mix it up. Then we moved on to a bit of lateral work. Now this is still early stages for Sienna and doing lateral work on the long reins. So she's not perfect at it yet, but she's improving. So use your poles to work 
your horse in some sort of lateral work so whether that be leg yield whether that be shouldering because the good thing about the poles is the horse can't lean on it you know when you work alongside a fence the horse tends to use it as a bit of a crutch the poles on the ground they can't do that so it gives them a marker point but it doesn't support them and so the horse has to work that little bit harder they sort of have to carry themselves a bit more now you'll also see currently in the clip that we're also doing some leg yield and then crossing over the poles this is such a good exercise for your horse again sienna's not quite got it down to a t was the first time i'd ever done it with her but that leg yielding and then stepping over the pole at the same time takes so much lift from your horse especially through the hindquarters it's a really really good exercise for them and you'll find that's going to really give them some great top line strength and the across the back get the lift that we're looking for and then quite often I'll mix it up and so I'll go back to the kind of um shallow loops exercise or then I might go back to the figure of eight so not doing anything for too long now we have another person this time we've got Billy so I thought I would show this exercise done ridden just because it was interesting to see it from two types of training and so you can see here with Billy I'm doing more work in trot and again you can pretty much do everything I did long reining in ridden work so you can see here with Billy, I'm doing the figure of eight exercise, something that is so simple yet so beneficial for them, but obviously doing it in trot with him. So working on that suppleness, working on that bend around my inside leg, and then the change of bend, the lift over the pole. So plenty for him to think about. You could also do this with them stretching. He was quite head flicky that day because it was incredibly flyy and they just would not leave him alone, poor chap. Here you can see now doing some lateral work but ridden, so some shouldering along the pole. Again, saying that they can't lean on this like they would against the fence. So in fact, it's that little bit harder for the horse and great practice if you are out doing dressage tests. Now, if you can see right in the top there, you can also use the end of the poles as a good way to do some half walk pirouettes. Again, giving you something to work around can be really helpful. Again, now doing a little bit of leg yield, so leg yield back and forth from the pole. See, there is so much you can do from a simple line of poles. It's crazy. Here, just doing a little bit of that leg yield and then walking over the pole. Great place to practice some halts and some rain back. Rain back, maybe not really strong at this point, um, because again, it helps just keep them that little bit straighter without them kind of hanging to the fence. Again, a little bit more half pass. Pretty much you can do all lateral work up against this line of poles. Hi guys, I thought I'd pop on and end the vlog. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone actually ever gets this far in a vlog. Do you ever watch all of it through? I know. There's very few YouTubers where I actually watch the whole video through. Most of the time I just skip to the bits I'm interested in. So I totally understand if you've done that. Um, I'm sorry the vlog was late yesterday. Something had to give and it was the vlog. <laughs> but actually, anyone else finding it at the moment? It's just time is flying by and also there's just not enough hours in the day to fit everything in. I don't know why it's so busy either because I'm not even back into my full work routine of like when the kids go back then work really like ramps up but I don't know why life's just very busy at the moment I did do something quite fun on Tuesday with them though which meant a lot of editing for the rest of the week and that was to do, take some photos of some racehorse yearlings that were off to the sales next week which is something I've never done before oh they were so beautiful I mean they were absolutely gorgeous like and their coats were so shiny uh, not the easiest things to photograph though <laughs> very fidgety and they have to be stood up in an exact precise way like their legs need to be separated in exact the same front and back and heads not too high and ears pricked and well you tried telling a yearling that so it meant that you had to really snap quickly and also you didn't get that many opportunities to like capture the perfect shot in fact probably for each yearling there was probably only three photos that were like decent enough to go and they're for the sales catalogue um but it was fun to do and really interesting the photos i was a bit worried when i was going to get the photos home that the clarity wasn't going to be good enough because it was such a bright sunny day which is lovely but not great when you're photographing um, and they were a smidge soft i would say i didn't think the clarity was as perfect as they could be but i'm literally ocd when it comes to photo quality so um and it has re it's really irritated me even though the person that asked me to do it loves the photos and is absolutely thrilled with them i just i can't let it go it really bugs me when they're not like perfect anyway hopefully got some more to do um i think next month so this is exciting and fun to do and I love photography work. I don't do masses of it and probably need some a new camera and lens and so on. But my old camera is hanging in there and still doing a good enough job. Um, so, yeah, it's quite that. It was really fun to do. Also, guys, as of this point right now, we're at 1,000 subscribers and it's all down to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, it's literally on a 1,000. So, you know, give it another hour and it might drop <laughs> back to like 999 or something because subscribers do go a little up and down. But still, 
I've had the email through from the YouTube creators that are like, yes, you made it to a thousand, so thank you. I mean, the confetti did not fall from the sky, as I was expecting, <laughs> but still, I'm very grateful. And yeah, it feels like we're kind of like into a new challenge, a new step, and I've, well, I've got to make a new challenge now, haven't I? For so long, I've been working towards that thousand subscribers. Um, so yeah, very, very exciting. This Sunday, um, I'm going to do a vlog on Sienna, so a bit of an update. We're now on week four with her, so I'm going to show you an in-hand session with her because we can do a little bit more, and actually, they're quite good fun. I'm really enjoying the in-hand sessions with her. So yes, yeah, so that's what you can look forward to on Sunday. Anyway, I'm going to leave you there because my arm's starting to ache, and I have taken this video clip probably no less than 10 times, <laughs> and the arm muscle is hurting. Um, anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your week, and see you on Sunday.